Well, this is a major turning point in the fight against ISIS tonight. U.S.-backed forces in Syria are celebrating after taking back the city of Raqqa. It's a city that ISIS once called its capital. The fighting in Syria, though, has displaced hundreds of thousands, and with winter coming, the plight of some of those people may only get worse. Lisa? Well, David, a local college student has come up with a way to help some of those refugees with this. It's a lightweight, low-cost sleeping bag that he hopes to distribute throughout the Middle East. The MIT sophomore tells us he came up with the design for this in his dorm room. The war in Syria has raged for years between rebels, ISIS, and the Assad government, with civilians too often forced to run for their lives. Especially for refugees who are either living in camps or in resettlement areas, it's, just, it's very tough to stay warm. 19-year-old Vic Liu is in his second year at MIT. There was such a large group of people who were suffering, and you know, I was just trying to figure out how can I help. That desire turned into a sleeping bag design that Vic drew on a napkin. He sewed the prototype in his dorm room. We actually kept the, the, um, the sewing machine in my closet and the raw materials underneath my bed. He and some friends came up with the Traveler Pack. It can help someone stay warm down to 15 degrees Fahrenheit. The cost? This is $50 to manufacture and ship to Syria. A shoulder strap makes it easy to carry, and pockets inside and out mean travel papers, money, and other small possessions are relatively secure. Vic raised enough money online to manufacture 250 sleeping bags. They should reach Syria around late December, early January, right in time for the coldest part of the winter. Phase two is even bigger. We are trying to raise money for 1,000 bags. That should be around $50,000. Now, Vic is working with a New Hampshire nonprofit called New Day Syria, which will distribute those sleeping bags again starting in December.